I have everything in place for the ritual. I'll open the portal whenever you're ready. I don't know what you'll find in Cameron's paradise. I do know the portal I create through the Mysterium Xarxes ritual will close behind you. You'll have to find another way back. I believe that Manka Cameron acts as the anchor for paradise, just as a sigil stone anchors an oblivion gate in place. Kill Manka Cameron, and you will unmake his paradise. Shall I open the portal to paradise? Are you ready? Farewell, my friend. Our fate is in your hands. Bring back the Amulet of Kings. Brace yourself. We have only one chance at this. Use the portal to Cameron's paradise before it closes again. Poor of the Septims arrives at last. You didn't think you could take me unawares here of all places, in the paradise that I created. Look now upon my paradise. Gaia Alata in the old tongue, a vision of the past and the future. How can you be here? No matter. You are too late to stop Lord Dagon's victory. Soon we will return to Tamriel to rule over it as lords. While you will remain here in the Eternal Garden forever. Gaia Alata is the master's name for this place. We usually just call it Paradise. This is the Savage Garden. At the top of that mountain lies the Terrace of Dawn, which leads up to Manka Cameron's palace, Carrick Agailor. Beneath the mountain lies the Forbidden Grotto, the only way out of the Savage Garden. We have all died in the Master's service. Here in Gairalata, we are immortal and wait to return to Tamriel after Lord Dagon's final victory. The Forbidden Grotto is the only way out of the Savage Garden. Those who earn the Master's favor are given the Bands of the Chosen and allowed to leave the Garden. Those favored by the Master to wear the Bands may enter the Forbidden Grotto and leave this Savage Garden forever. The Master will soon deal with you. Behold the Savage Garden, where my disciples are tempered for a higher destiny, to rule over Tamriel Reborn. If you are truly the hero of destiny, as I hope, 
The garden will not hold you for long. Lift your eyes to Kerek Agayala, my seat at the pinnacle of paradise. I shall await you there. us, are you? Are you here to end this nightmare and free us all from the Savage Garden? Everyone here died in the Master's service. As the Master promised, we are now immortal, like the Daedra. But our life here is a nightmare. The creatures of the Garden torment us endlessly. When they kill us, we are soon reborn and the cycle begins again. No one has yet found a way to leave the Garden, except those few given the bands of the Chosen and allowed to enter the Forbidden Grotto. The only way out of the Savage Garden. Only those wearing the bands of the Chosen may enter the Forbidden Grotto. But they never return, so we don't know what fate awaits them. Only those wearing the bands can enter the Forbidden Grotto. No one who enters the grotto ever returns. Leave me in peace. destroyed the Sigil Tower at Ganona. My kin, say you fought well. Our clan sacked your city of Kavach. A trifling task fit for scamps. Your swift retribution earned you much respect among my people. We had not expected that a mortal would act with such resolution and honor. It is no dishonor for us to speak. You speak directly, like one of my people almost. I'm glad I did not kill you immediately. There is but one way out of the garden. I guard that path. You will travel that path, and it will bring me honor to defeat you. But you shamed my kin at Kanona to bring you into my service. That would also bring me honor. So I offer you a choice. Would you confront me in battle, or offer me service? Your mind follows the simple path, the choice of an animal. But you have courage at least. You will fail, mortal. And then where will you be? Dead and nothing. How little you understand. You cannot stop, Lord Dagon. The Principalities have sparkled as gems in the black reaches of oblivion since the first morning. Many are their names and the names of their masters. 
the cold harbor of Meridia, Periite's quagmire, the ten moon shadows of Mithala, and... and Dawn's beauty, the princedom of Lorcon, misnamed Tamriel by deluded mortals. Yes, you understand now. Tamriel is just one more Daedric realm of oblivion, long since lost to its prince when he was betrayed by those that served him. Lord Dagon cannot invade Tamriel, his birthright. He comes to liberate the occupied lands. Ask yourself, how is it that mighty gods die, yet the Daedra stand incorruptible? How is it that the Daedra forthrightly proclaim themselves to man, while the gods cower behind statues and the faithless words of traitor priests? It is simple. They are not gods at all. The truth has been in front of you since you first were born. The Daedra are the true gods of this universe. Julianos, Dibella, and Stonda are all Lorcan's betrayers, posing as divinities in the principality that has lost its guiding light. What are scholarship, love, and mercy when compared to fate, night, and destruction? The gods you worship are trifling shadows of first causes. They have tricked you for ages. Why do you think your world has always been contested ground, the arena of powers and immortals? It is Tamriel, the realm of change, brother to madness, sister to deceit. Your false gods could not entirely rewrite history. Thus you remember tales of Lorcan vilified a dead trickster whose heart came to Tamriel. But if a god can die, how does his heart survive? He is Daedroth! Tamriel I Daedroth! This heart is the heart of the world, for one was made to satisfy the other. You all remember this. It is in every legend. Daedra cannot die. So your so-called gods cannot erase him from your minds completely. was the last mistake you'll ever make. You wear the bands, but you're no prisoner. Who are you? What are you doing here? Can you really do it? Can you bring this eternal nightmare to an end? Can you defeat Mankar Cameron and free all the souls of the poor fools who followed him? 
Listen, I can help you. You need my help if you are ever to leave the Forbidden Grotto. I was one of Mankar Cameron's chief lieutenants. I helped plan the Emperor's assassination. I opened the Great Gate at Kvach. We were the Chosen. We saw more clearly than ordinary mortals. We would destroy the world and remake it. Mankar Cameron was our leader, our teacher, our master. He had the secret knowledge. He dealt with Mehrunes Dagon as an equal. I was at the sack of Kvach. They had no chance. We took them by surprise, and we carried the walls in the first assault. But they fought on anyway, desperately. They seemed to think this decadent, mundane world of theirs was worth defending. I was slain after the battle was over. Three townsfolk hiding in the cellar attacked me when I entered their house, hunting down survivors. They tore me to pieces, although I have no doubt they were immediately killed by my companions. I've had plenty of time to ponder my deeds since I came here. Ponder and regret. An eternity of regret. For my weakness, the Master sent me here to torture my former comrades, who showed similar ingratitude for his gift of eternal life. No one wearing the bands of the Chosen can leave this grotto. The doors will not open, and there is no other way out. I can remove them, but I will need time. The Dremora Overseer will be here any minute to check up on me. You need to play along until he leaves. Just act like a prisoner, and do as I say. Once Orthe leaves, we can find a quiet spot to remove these bands. I understand. Why would you trust me? But you have no choice. I am the only one who can help you escape this place. No one wearing the bands of the Chosen can leave the grotto. You'll discover that for yourself soon enough.
again. You made it! I didn't think you'd have any trouble. Let's get these bands off you. There. You're not a prisoner of the Forbidden Grotto any longer. Let me come with you. Let me help you kill Mankar Cameron. I am not without power. I am no match for Mankar Cameron, but perhaps together we can find a way to defeat him. Lead on! Well done, champion. Your progress is swift and sure. Perhaps you will reach me after all. You think I mock you? Not at all. In your coming, I hear the footsteps of fate. You are the last defender of decadent Tamriel. I am the midwife of the mythic dawn, Tamriel Reborn. I welcome you, if you truly are the agent. I tire of the self-styled heroes who set themselves in my path only to prove unworthy in the event. You did not expect to see me again, did you? You have no grasp of the power that my father has at his command. You think you can stop us? Soon Mehrun's Dagon will walk upon Tamriel for the first time since the Mythic Age, and our victory will be complete. 
Come. My father is waiting to welcome you to Karak Agayalor. So, here you are at last. The lackey of the Septim Pretender. You still think you have a chance, don't you? We knew you would find your way here eventually, but it is of no consequence. You should not keep my father waiting any longer. He expected you hours ago. Come, you came here to see him, did you not? Ha! Not good enough. I do not. <laughs> not your efforts are in vain, mortal. Ha! Lord Dagon's victory is at hand, fool. I have waited a long time for you, champion of old Tamriel. You were the last gasp of a dying age. You breathed the stale air of false hope. How little you understand. You cannot stop Lord Dagon. The walls between our worlds are crumbling. The mythic dawn grows nearer with every rift in the firmament. Soon, very soon. The lines now blurred will be erased. Tamriel and Oblivion rejoined. The mythic age reborn. Lord Dagon shall walk Tamriel again. The world shall be remade. The new age shall rise from the ashes of the old. My vision shall be realized. Weakness will be purged from the world, and mortal and immortal alike purified in the refiner's fire. My long duel with the Septims is over, and I have the mastery. The Emperor is dead. The Amulet of Kings is mine. And the last defender of the last ragged Septim stands before me, in the heart of my power. Let us see who at last has proved the stronger. Father will never be beaten by the likes of you. What's the matter? I will present your friend. Strike me down, and my father's power will. You found a way back. Does this mean... You did it. You defeated him. Then you have it. You have the Amulet of Kings. Belongs to me. The Amulet of Kings. So you and Joffrey have said. If it is true, 
If the Emperor really was my father, then I should be able to wear it. Only those of the Septim blood can wear the Amulet of Kings. Yes, of course. What am I waiting for? After all, this is my destiny. And no man can deny his destiny. I didn't really need the amulet to tell me that. I've known it was true since you first told me back in Kavach. But it is one thing to talk of becoming Emperor, and quite another to actually be the Emperor. Not yet. Until we light the dragon fires, the gates are open, and Mehrun's Dagon's invasion continues. While you were gone, I sent a messenger to Chancellor Akato. He waits for us in the Imperial City. Chancellor Akato is the head of the Elder Council. The Council rules in the Emperor's absence. I don't expect any objections from the Elder Council, but we should defer to their authority. Let's go to the Imperial City at once, before the enemy can recover from Manka Cameron's death. Congratulations on your victory, Mom. 